Hello everybody, welcome to a first look at the Corpsman, uh, or the Corpsman, I think it's the Corpsman. Anyway, it just got released into early access, um, it's a bit of a mess right now, um, with bugs and things, as far as I know, I have not looked into it myself, but, uh, that is what I heard, and of course you can see here that developers have put out a update right as you launch the game telling you, you know, maybe the game is not quite ready yet, so... Be careful when you head into it, or come back when it's better. Anyhow, um, it's a really nice concept and I'm already liking the artwork. Um, just looking at it here, um, reading through the store page, um, it's it looks interesting, to say the least. So even with the bugs, I feel like we should take a quick peek at it. So we're in the city of Summerlee. And I don't know what um, these are. Chop shop. Work in progress. Okay. And that looks like a store where you can purchase things. Um, the unique thing about this game is uh, it's a sort of a deck builder, but you sort of mash together body parts after harvesting and. Um, create your new monsters that's unique and a library is also work in progress okay I could okay this must be like the uh, I don't hey there's something we can do okay all right so um, I don't I mean clearly there's no tutorial yet so here we have just, um, can I, no, oh, I can, okay, let's just randomize a monster, I guess there's, I, I can I see what these things do, I'd like to know what the properties are, Okay. Um, that's some kind of a highlighting feature to sort, but it's not quite working because if you select all or nothing, it all show up. Anyway, so we can create a. Mo <laughs> all right. Um, thing. No, I don't want to use Dr. Seuss names. Um, <clears throat> Let's just do monster, monster one. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna get too creative here, because uh, I, I would take too much time to think. Okay, so looks like it comes with cards. Wall of flesh applies five block to all. Scratch. Deal two damage two times. Put a copy of this card into your grave. Apply five block. Uh, one out of four. What does that mean? Looks like I don't really have a deck. Okay. Oh! I have four selections and I pick one out of each one. Four damage to all. Five block. Well, the last one I picked was the block to all, right? I guess we'll use this monster as a... Um, yeah, we can do a... That's a zero cost. And we'll do another... Uh, abomination storage. I guess they're called abominations. <clears throat> Can I drag my adventure team into here? I click them up. No. Um. Why does it keep on using the same head? Well. Um. I don't know. I was thinking, you know, like Frankenstein's monster. 
I bet these uh, cards come based on what body parts that you pick, but I'd like to know what cards are associated with what body part. That way you can make a little bit more customization, I suppose. Um, unyielding. Chomp. These are all cards that I haven't seen yet. Um, ride by, deal. Seven damage to stop. The other G. <laughs> I, I like that. Um, uh, let's. I, I don't know if I should have done that. Um, it doesn't really matter. And we'll just randomize another monster. Let's use the goat head, I guess, this time. I'd like to. Oops, not four. I can't type or count, apparently. It's like the Monty Python scene. Um, I bite. Oh, that's new. Applies bleed or gore. I guess we'll do gore and then probably a defensive card. Um... Right, these are all somewhat unique creatures. I didn't even realize the hind legs look like you can, like that's a hoof and that's a kitty paw. All right, how do I drag these into my adventure team? I don't know, but it looks like there's three for the adventure team, so I should be able to, what's the fugue? It's work in progress, the preserve. Oh, well, that's where I was. I went from the mess of creation uh, and they go into the f preserve, and you can't actually look at. I guess dispatch is how I'm going to embark. Okay, can I drag these in? How do I. How do I. Um, what exactly am I doing here? There's clearly three slots. Unless I'm misunderstanding something, but is it not going to just auto-populate three monsters of the three that I have? Do I have to create? Um, I don't know. I guess we'll just um, go ahead and create um, several more. Not even going to worry about... Ooh. That looks like mostly a reptilian creature. All right, let's. Um, uh, that does not. Oh, right, I've already. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. That was mostly a. All right, I I just want to fill these out, so I don't really care. Sound effect is the same, and I don't hear the music anymore. Must have run out of all the playlist. Uh, um, I don't know. I do hope. Well, that's a really reptilian monster. All right, monster six. It'd be nice if they had a little bit more uh, special effects and things. Um, all right, so wall of flesh. I don't really know what this does to my deck overall. Gore, that's uh, ride by. Sure, I haven't picked that one yet. All right, let's go to embark. How do I? Oh, okay. I had to double click. I guess I could retire those. Uh, wait a second. I I don't know. Let's just go town. That's where we were. Rockfield, 
Greenland, wetland, desert, mountain. So we can go to Greenland or the mountains. Uh, let's go to Greenland. Where you hunt, escort, or salvage. Quest name hunt, length medium, card meat as reward, short but hard. Kind of want a short quest to start with. How do I get out of here? Oh, here. Is there a short and routine? Nope. Okay. Well, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Let's just do the first quest. All right, so we've got this Slay the Spire set up. Um, um, looks like there's, that's a person. Um, that's like a elite and got a big boss and these are all unknown. I guess it only reveals the path up to a certain point so you can't kind of, uh, which makes sense. I suppose we should be able to zoom in if it's not going to show all this, oh, it, there's clearly a, a, a break in the page. So it will show once you get to that point, I suppose. Um, I'm just going to head in this way where there's a campfire right after the first fight. Uh, because <laughs> I'd like to not end a run so quickly. How do I know how many? So I have... Next five. In it. Next three. I have seven cards in my deck. I'm trying to. What is this? Three, six. Ah, I'm being targeted. So that's my. I'm being targeted for that much damage. So. Um, let's see. Right, so I have to discard a card. That's fine. Um, discard one. I wonder what's going to happen. Where is... Do I... I don't see the shield come up. Or the block. Oh! It looks like I try to apply the shield on this monster and ended up getting onto this monster oh well that is life i suppose we'll just i guess init is sort of the action points that i have but that was Yeah, shields don't carry into the next turn, which is going to make this a little bit more interesting. Um, so I'm being attacked here and here. Well, I've got all right. Let's see if we can apply the shield in the right place this time. I don't need. I don't need too many of those. I'm going to use the two block there and then we'll gore. One weak and two vulnerable. All right. And of course I can't, can't do anything here, right? Cause I don't have any, I don't know what init stands for. Um, Trying to figure out what these things mean. Is that haste? Probably. Uh, I wish I could see, or maybe it's, yeah, it's probably haste or some kind of a strength up, but I'm certainly not being targeted next round. So 
we can just go ahead and attack. Um, all right, that's good. I'm, I'm not really sure how this is working out with cards. I that looks like a like a junk pile. That looks like the graveyard, and looks or maybe that's the graveyard, and that just cycles through. I'm not sure. Um, going to just see what happens. I guess this is this card clearly says uh, grave, so maybe that's the grave, and that's just discard. Let's just see if that's what happens. Oh no! I put a copy of scratch into. Huh. So if I end up scratching, I end up with more cycling through. Okay, that's fine. That's not a problem. I wonder what would happen if I have no cards to discard. Can I still use unyielding? So I'm going to try that. We'll apply one vulnerable. Do that. I don't think I'll be able to do this now. I clearly targeted Monster 3. It's not like I'm being stupid. I see that Monster 3 is being attacked next turn, but it keeps on applying the armor shield. All right, so you can... I don't know if that's uh, really what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, all right, what is going on there? All right, scratch. I mean, I basically have block cards. All right, let me, um, I don't really need to. I wonder if actually I'm going to get some more. Nope, the init does not go up above three. That'll probably change, right, based on, oh, you get nothing, two pounds of flesh, enter map, and end of map, meat transform to Valum. Battle one. Creature has grown. Creature card has advanced. Oh, there's. I um. Let's just see what this is. Feed for refill HP of your monster. Oh, feed. Okay. Well, there we go. I only have two pounds of flesh, and certainly let's get back. It's interesting that the rest spot doesn't rest everybody. Oh, the next was a human. I guess some kind of event, maybe? Wait. It just skipped it. Um. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. One times two, one times three. All right, let's try to apply the defense in the right place, shall we? And it's like every it, 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 the sound effects is very similar, and um, so I can only do tail whip anyway. Alright, so, um, I still can't, that looks like armor, actually, based on what I see there, so, I mean, it looks like we can just attack them, um, sure, we'll, Vol ah, should've done that first, huh, that's my being silly, we'll apply vulnerable there, and add bleed and well, I've got the extra init that's not going to do anything so we'll why not <laughs> we'll use the cards that we've got oh hey the bleed killed that monster completely that's nice alrighty 
So, monster two gains temp block. Oh, wait a second. This is attached to monster two. That's why it wasn't working. Uh, I think that's kind of annoying. You have to pick up the exact defense cards for your own. Are you kidding? Yeah, that's why it was doing that is because it's okay. Well, I'm not going to be able to use that card here. That was silly. Um, I think, uh, here we go. Monster 3 gains 10 block. They are completely attached to their respective monsters. Okay, I don't quite like that very much. Um, so they're going to apply armor next turn, so we will just go ahead and try to get rid of them. There's no need to... It, right, the block doesn't carry over. I mean, I've already tried that. If I end a turn, or... Yeah, the blocks all disappear. I wish they wouldn't, but that is what it is. Um, I wonder if I apply bleed to this tiger rat if it's just going to bleed to death next round despite having the... So, we'll do that. I hope it dies, because otherwise I'm in trouble. Monster 2. Oh, I guess I got a 10 block here. Um, why not? That's enough. That thing should bleed to death, I think. It bleeds to death after it attacks, so, okay. Apply vulnerable, scratch it to death. When there's one target, you should be able to just click anywhere on the screen and target it. Three pounds of flesh. Oh, I... That's how they grow, is actually you... It's the... Add a random attack or skill card to your hand. Improvise. That's interesting. Protect. Apply 12 block. Wall of flesh. Um... Sure. High metabolism. Whenever you consume a card, draw a card. Oh, that's interesting. Taste of blood. Deal 7 damage. If target has bleed, deal additional 7 damage. That could be good. Dense fat. Whenever you consume a card, monster 2 gains 4 block. Wow. These seem like they're really neat. Um... I'll go for the defensive. Okay, so they're not grown until that thing lights up. <laughs> Looks like my path is preset. Six at six at two. Six six at two. Six six at two. Ooh, I don't know, but this thing sure has a lot of defense. So I went for the defensive, and. I can basically defense my way through this next. I wish I could get more init. But I assume that's going to come somehow. Alright. Well, I wonder actually, I, I didn't even see what these things are. This is like defense card. There's like two bars here out of eight. This one has three bars. Those are four bars. I like rank. 
rank of card maybe. So this thing is going to power up next turn, so we just attack it, I guess. But that's the only attack card I have. It's kind of pointless. Sure. Oh, am I confused? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what that is. That looks like I'm being confused. So... Okay. Alright, so... Hmm. That's interesting because it looks like I'm confused and these cards must be attached to Monster 2 and thus I'm unable to actually play these cards. Oh, that's um, uh, uh, kind of annoying, but I wish I could also save my init for the future turns. So indeed, I w was unable to... This thing keeps on powering up. You don't see any of their stats. What is this? Um... Uh, none of that works. You can't click on any of it to see what's going on. Um, whenever you consume a card, Monster 2 gains 4 block. That seems good. Uh, that's kind of useless. I... What is that now? I'm not sure. I've consumed some cards, but Monster 2 hasn't gained any blocks, so maybe that's just a an error. All right, well, whatever. We'll play all these cards, because we can. There's one card in that dump bin now. This thing is not attacking me. I feel like when it is going to attack me, it's going to cause a whopping load of damage. Um, but since it's not attacking, we can just keep on dealing damage to it. And I think that card there must be the one that we used where it says every time you consume a card, Monster card, Monster 2 gets 4, dam or four block, but I don't. This thing is just not attacking. Um, I'm assuming that's a, a bug of some kind, but I don't know for sure. But it's going to die before it does anything to me, which is interesting because it clearly is a, a more powerful monster than the other ones that I have come across. Um, oh wait, these cards don't have any of that circle. Does that mean that the more you use this card, the more it, it, it's a leveling up, the cards level up? Okay, remove weak and vulnerable, apply 5 block, and 1 in it next turn. That's cool. That's what I wanted. I wanted something like that. All right, so now I'll look at this a little bit more detail. The path is very much uh, delineated. Oh, I guess. Um, I wonder, I'm gonna take this path down this way to this human and see if um, that gets skipped as well. Strix. All right. Um, well, we know this card isn't working. <laughs> Um, hmm, which is kind of silly. And I don't know what this thing's next turn is, but it doesn't look like it's going to do anything, so... Um... Should I use the dense fat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so use the dense flat. Yeah, that went in there. I don't think it's working, though, but well, that's okay. We'll, um... Can you use these on your monsters? Oh, on the... Uh, you, you, at least you can't... Not gonna accidentally... I'm not getting... I don't know what this next five means. Um, but... Uh, oh, next hand. Five cards. Okay. So that's something that can be affected as well. Just slowly. Alright, so... It's going to power up and it's not going to attack me. We can apply vulnerable and then deal damage to it. That makes me feel that I should actually still use these cards even if they are not going to um, give me anything because I will want to. Um, I, I wonder if that's how you level up these cards. 
is going to keep on powering up. I'd like to know what. I'd like to know what their limits are. Um, so uh, it is what it is. Yeah. Okay. That's one, three. I I really don't like that these cards are attached to specific monsters. I suppose I should be trying to level up the ones. Holy cow, what is that? That means it has an attack of 20? Or it's gonna... I don't know. I, I wish I could see what these stats mean. Um, but it doesn't look like it's going to attack me, so we'll just... Um, keep scratching it. <laughs> um, 4 damage. I'm not even hitting it. Uh, that's no good. I'm not sure what that 20 is. that area? Like an AoE attack? That would not be good. I suppose. Let's do that and see if I'm going to get hit with 20 damage on all my monsters next turn. What? Did it bleed to death? I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> I had no idea what that meant. We got some new monster parts. That's cool. Um. Can I go back to town? I want to know... Oh, Alright, well... Oh, I can retreat. I suppose if I retreat, I'll be able to see... I, I, I'll, I'll just keep on going when I can. This thing is going to attack me for 10. Um, sure, it's got a lot of block anyway, so I can't really damage it, so we'll use... Wall of Flesh, and Quick Turn, and then be able to cancel that attack out. Oh, it's a, like a head bash, I get confused, so you can't use... Okay, that's why it got confused. Okay, well, that's not good. Um, and that's only applying to Monster 3, so that's useless this turn. Um, we'll scratch it, and apply Vulnerable, and... Oh, the weak reduced the damage. Uh, not only is this only applying to this creature, this is... Ugh. That is pretty awful. It is still confused. And <laughs> I have three cards out of five that belong to Monster 2. Okay, well, at least we can do that. Looks like Monster 2 is taking a beating, and there's nothing I can do about it. It is still confused, it's still getting attacked, and Monster 3 getting block isn't going to help. Um, Alright, we'll do that, and that, and scratch. Gosh, it is persistent and annoying. Alright, well... Oh, we, we can kill this thing. You get nothing. Pounds of flesh. 12 pounds. So I have 12 pounds of flesh and a level up. Consume a card in your hand. Draw two cards. Whenever you consume a card, draw a card. Um, let's do that. And that's for monster one. I want to see if this gets... Can't... Come on. Alright, well that's not gonna work. Alright, we'll uh we'll heal up. We'll heal up completely, why not? Uh there's not a rest function, so it just you are just at the rest. Now we're at an elite. Let's see how bad this is gonna be. Well So far we're okay. I uh, got all these blocks, which I suppose I will use them all, because why not? We'll uh, end up with getting experience on these cards, I think. Alright, whenever you consume a card, Monster 2 gains 4 block. This card, we have confirmed, does not work. Um, Monster 3 gains 10 block. Why not? 
we'll just discard this one. Um, and we will gore this and attack and bleed it. High metabolism. Whenever you draw, consume a card, draw a card. And this is high metabolism for, I think, monster one. It's not a big deal. Getting attacked for five next turn. Um, so, I suppose, do that. And apply a fair block. And that also didn't work. I did not draw a card when I consumed the card. Okay. Well, now we know. Let's not dwell too hard on those things. Monster 2 gaining block isn't going to do anything. Alright, well. Oh, what is that? Does my cat have diarrhea or something? It's got a gut issue. I, I don't know. It's five block. Two block. This is useless. I, I wonder what the drawing thing is. Why there's always like a, a s delay in, in one of the cards. But alright. So apply five block. We're good. That will gore. Yeah. Yeah, why not? And scratch. That's good enough. Well, we know these cards don't work, so I would like to be able to modify the deck and at least get them out so that the drawing doesn't have to pull them out. I feel like these power-ups are actually hindering <laughs> instead of helping because they're not working. Um, not getting attacked, so we'll just, uh, it's, we can only bleed it, scratch it. Oh, it killed it. Um, I guess those ability cards are not working, so we'll random attack, improvise. Add a random attack or skill card to your hand. For zero, apply two vulnerable to all enemies. That seems pretty good. Quick turn is good. I'm gonna try improvise because that costs nothing. Lorgon. Oh boy. Um, it looks like it deals poison damage. And it's not gonna do anything to me right now. Um this is just not working, so... It's not working, it doesn't give me anything, which is kind of annoying. Alright, five, attack here. Um, that's fine, that's good enough. And then we'll chomp and bite it. Ooh, is that going to give me an upgrade on my bite? That bite looks like it's going to... Let's see what happens. I'm curious. I'm very curious. I'll have to wait until the next turn. Um, uh, I'm not getting attacked. Let's just see. Brute Force! Oh! Steal for, uh, deal 14 damage. Strength affects this card twice. Ooh, that's an interesting skill. It's not just something from your deck. It's actually... Um, it's actually a... Well... That gets a... So I do like the quick turn. Um, I also like chomp. Single... I'd like to be able to draw more cards if I could gain more in it. Alright, well, we'll just heal up. Ah, 1 HP. Is it going to make a difference? Alright, well, I have to try the question mark. 
Uh, nope. <laughs> I guess uh, that's how you get past all these random events right now. They're not currently available. So, well, we made it to the boss. It's a spider queen with two spiderlings. I don't know if I'll be able to make it through, but we'll try. Now, that spider queen looks nasty. Um, uh, boy. I, uh, wonder what I should do. I guess... Gore? Get rid of the spiderlings first. Um... Sure. See what happens next turn. Spider Queen attack is not so strong. That's annoying. Monster 2. Well. Let's just get rid of one of them. I'd like to... Oh, that's that's the dense fat. Is the is a fatty is a fatty thing. I hope he doesn't spawn a lot of spiders as a result. Got three nit and not being attacked next turn. Can we get rid of this thing? Yeah, I think I can. Very nice. Oh, yeah, okay. It was negative two. I thought it stayed on the screen, so I was a little worried. Alright, let's see. Hopefully it doesn't spawn a lot of little spiderlings. It did not. Okay. Well, the spider queen is not attacking me very fast. Which is nice. I like that improvised function. I, I, uh, I'm curious. What do we get? A stomp. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool, too. We know this doesn't work. I'm not getting attacked, so none of the defense. So we'll just stomp it. And then gain one more in it next turn. Or I guess I could have used the high metabolism, just get rid of it, dump it in the dump pile, so it, I don't keep on drawing it. I'm also not getting attacked for some reason. I don't really know what these things are. Um. I wish I could. We don't need defense, so we'll apply vulnerable. And scratch it. And bleed it. And I guess we'll use all the cards just to... I want to see them level up. I want to see the cards level up, but so far that has not happened. I don't know what's going on with the Monster Queen, or Spider Queen, but it's not really trying to harm me anyway. Um, so we'll just attack it, I guess. The other cheek. Um, we'll gain a knit. And... Maybe it'll eventually power up to something that's more useful. It's kind of not doing anything. I wonder if the boss is kind of soft locked into place. Oh no, it's going to attack me. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we'll weaken it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll apply wall of flesh. And we'll scratch it twice. Or Pounds of flesh. I guess the <clears throat> the spider queen is heavier than most. Well, it's a lot of spider. What? 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 What's going on? Isn't that the end of the quest? I have no idea. 
It's a new map. Why is that? Did it uh, short and easy? Well, this game uh, needs some work. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the mess. I guess we did get some new body parts. I think. Um. Um. They're not here. I swear there was a wing. There was definitely a wing, from one of the wing and fly and put. Um. Shoot. Should I have not? Did I not? I don't know what's going on here. I, it it must be a feature that's not yet um, functional. So, in this current bare bones state, um, it just released yesterday. So we'll give it some time and revisit it. Uh, but it certainly is not quite something that I would recommend for its current price. Uh, it is quite expensive it's twenty dollars and it's really bare bones at this time it's probably going to show some promise later on but it's uh it's in need of a lot of work um so that being said we'll just let it sit here for a while and uh maybe wait for some updates or maybe revisit it after early access but I, I, I'm, I'm sure I'll try it again before early access is over but um, it needs quite a bit of work especially when those updated cards are doing nothing in my library except for causing problems I mean I wonder if um, I can't even look at what cards are associated with these monsters but I assume that they are somewhat leveled up um, oh, right, we don't need these ones. Didn't use them. Each quest you're embarking with three monsters anyway, so keep the three that we've got. Um, looks like there's going to be, <laughs> I'm sure I'm not going to be the only one complaining about the specific defense cards attached to a specific monster uh, that seems a little odd um, I guess that is just a decision a gameplay decision a, you know a development decision anyway that is pretty much it how do I I press escape and was hoping to get to the menu but the screen is now frozen um, I now have my mouse cursor and can't move that thing anymore and uh, the game currently does not have achievements, so that will be forthcoming, I suppose, with further development. Uh, I, I, I think we need to see a lot more progress on this game before giving it any kind of a recommendation, up or down. But um, in the current state, it needs too much work to actually get any kind of recommendation. Or um, I, I suppose, if anything, I would not recommend it at this point. Um, so there you have it. I uh, hope you got some information out of here, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.